Hi story time friends. I hope you're staying warm during this cold winter weather. Today we're going to read a story about a cold little duck. It's called Cold Little Duck Duck Duck. It is by Lisa Westberg Peters and the pictures are by Sam Williams. One miserable and frozen spring brisk brisk brisk. A cold little duck flew in. Brack, brack, brack. Her pond was stiff and white. Creak, creak, creak. And her feet froze to the ice. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Poor little duck. You're way too early, duck. Go back, back, back. You're beginning to shiver, duck. Shake, shake, shake. She tucked her head into her feathers to think, think, think of spring and warmer weather. Quick, quick, quick. Of bubbly streams and glassy puddles. Drink, drink, drink of wiggly worms and shiny beetles. Black, black, black. Her thoughts of spring filled the sky. Thick, thick, thick. Until a V of ducks flew by. Flock, flock, flock. They saw that spring was in the air. Blink, blink, blink and quickly spreading everywhere. Look, look, look. The ducks flew down. They dipped and splashed. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Come join us, duck. It's melting fast. Shrink, shrink, shrink. The cold little duck began to slide. Slick, slick, slick. Across the disappearing ice. Crack, crack, crack. She wiggled her tail, waggled her wings. Kick, kick, kick. The warm little duck dove into spring. Quack, quack, quack. And that's the end of our story about the cold little duck. Well, I hope you enjoyed our story, The Cold Little Duck, Duck, Duck. And I also wanted to show you, if we can do this without scaring them, um, that, and remind you, we have little bags at the library, little kits to make homemade bird feeders. And you can see um, on top of our suet feeder to the right, at the top are two pine cones dangling. And um, we have a, a bagged kit to make those. You put peanut butter, on the pine cone and then you put black oiled sunflower seeds on top of that. They're a little different than the ones you did at a baseball game. They're not salted or anything. Um, they're for birds, but um, the birds seem to really enjoy that feeder. And then, oh, this other guy, is he gonna go? Yes, okay, so the white crown sparrow is eating off of the Cheerio feeder. We just took pipe cleaners and we um, strung Cheerios on there and we actually put some raisins on that one too and um, the birds seem to really enjoy that one too. So it took them a little longer, I think, to figure out maybe what that was, but, <laughs> but yeah, they're really enjoying those feeders. So I would encourage you, you know, the library's closed today, Tuesday. Um, so if you can't, obviously you can't pick up those bags today, but um, you could stop by tomorrow, hopefully we'll be open, or if you have the supplies at your home, to make things um, out of um, simple, objects even like of pipe cleaners and cereals like Cheerios or peanut butter and nuts um, and fruit or dried fruit. So um, lots of things that your birds would enjoy even if you don't have traditional bird seed available. So I hope you'll give that a try and stay warm. See you soon. Bye.